Chemiosmotic Hypothesis Chemiosmotic Hypothesis explains ATP synthesis in chloroplast. Chemiosmosis requires a membrane, a proton pump, a proton gradient and ATPase. In the thylakoid membrane, protons accumulate towards the inside of the membrane, that is, in the lumen. Proton gradient develops because of the following reasons. Water splitting reaction takes place on the inner side of the membrane. So, hydrogen ions produced in the reaction accumulates within the lumen. During the photophosphorylation steps, when the electron carrier molecule passes on its electrons to the electron carriers on the inner side of the membrane, protons are released into the inner side or the lumen of the membrane. NADP reductase enzyme is located on the stroma side of the membrane. Protons are removed from the stroma and provided to the lumen because protons are necessary for the reduction of NADP plus to NADPH plus H plus along with the electrons that come from the electron acceptor located in PS1. As a result, the protons in the stroma decrease in number and the protons in the lumen increase in number. Thus, proton gradient is created across the thylakoid membrane. The proton gradient is broken down due to the movement of H plus from the lumen towards the stroma through the transmembrane channel to F0 of ATPase. ATPase, this enzyme has two parts, F0, F1. Conformational changes are induced in the F1 particle of the ATPase. This makes ATPase synthesize molecules of ATP. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.